Okay, today we have a Peugeot 308 in, uh, 2015. Um, so just going to show, go through and show you what we've found so far on the leaking. Um, so first things first, what we're going to test is we're going to put the hose pipe up on the scuttle area. Um, so we've got the scuttle area just filling up. It does seem to be maybe blocked there because there is a, quite a lot of build, water building up. Um, so if we quickly go underneath the driver's dashboard, um, we can see, if we look very closely, we can see that it's leaking off the pollen housing filter. So that corresponds with the water being in the driver's footwell as well. And we've got a little leak coming out here as well. So I believe that's all stemming from that bit up there. Um, so that would be the first one. Uh, coming to the second one would be, we're going to focus on this door. Um, so I'll just quickly get me um, light down now. Right, okay, so we're going to get the hose now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put the hose down the back of the door membrane and just simulating it out in the rain. And then what that should be doing is it should be coming out the bottom of the door, which it is doing. Um, but if I just quickly come round here, we can see that it's running out through here and here and here as well. So we've got a driver's door membrane which is leaking as well. Um, coming round to the back of the car, uh, the back of the car, and behind here we have your rear air vents um, and the reason for checking this is you can see that there's water in there and it looks like it's been in there for a while because it's rusty um, so if I just get my torch in here a second right okay so behind this panel here we have the air vent which is the ventilation shaft um, just so obviously the air can move through the car freely so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our hose so we're we'll quickly grab my hose and we want to go around to the back of the car right okay so what we're going to do is we're going to angle the hose directly here oh no maybe not let me just readjust that there put the light up there a second Okay, so we've got the hose up on the light there. And then what that should then simulate is the water then drips onto that, that bit there and then we can see that it's just starting to drip out the bottom of the air vent now onto the underlay. Um, so it's a small leak, but obviously it's leaking in. So that's probably the cause of the tailgate, uh, sorry, it, it working its way into the boot as well as another way as well. And then if we quickly come up onto the top of the tailgate, top of the tailgate looks like it's been involved in an accident. And so we can see that obviously it's all split there. Uh, the only problem is it's going to have to have the bottom plastic replaced, um, which is the biggest part. And basically what that's doing is when the car is shut, it's allowing water to get into the tailgate, which it should exit out from these points here, the little holes. But instead what it's doing is it's going over the top of this rubber and then it's then working water in just here and then that will then fall down into the back as well.